Hello everyone, I welcome you all in today's session about Firebase Firestore tutorial. In today's session, let's cover some of the most basic insights of Firebase Firestore. But before we go ahead, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the EduRecourse YouTube channel to never miss out on any updates from us. Also, if you're looking for any of the certification courses from EduRecourse, do check out the link given in the description below. So guys, let's move ahead with the agenda for today. So guys, firstly we see what is Firebase Firestore. Moving ahead, we look at why to use Firebase Firestore. And then we move ahead to how does it work. And at last, we see some of the Firebase tools. So guys, without any ado, let's move ahead with what is exactly Firebase Firestore. So Firebase Firestore is a NoSQL database that is hosted in the cloud and also offered by Google as a part of set of tools for creating mobile and web applications. You should know that it's made to work with databases for online and mobile apps. Firestore provides a scalable and versatile real-time solution for developers to store, synchronize and query data, making it ideal for collaborative real-time applications. What you should know is that Firestore's document-based data model stores information in hierarchical structures, which is collections and individual documents. So these collections store and organize documents which contain the actual data. This can let programmers organize the data in a way that's consistent with how the program works, making it easier to both save and retrieve. So guys here, each item in a collection has its own unique identifier which can be called as a document ID that can have fields of many different data types. Next moving on to why use Firebase Firestore. So here guys, firstly let's talk about real-time data synchronization. So guys, data changes made in one client are immediately reflected in all others thanks to the Firebase real-time data synchronization. This is especially important for live dashboards, collaborative tools and messaging apps, all of which update in real-time. So guys, without you refreshing or manually requesting updates, users can view modifications made by others in real-time. That is about real-time data synchronization. Let's move ahead to NoSQL flexibility. So this is a characteristic of Firestore in which NoSQL database structure gives programmers the freedom to save information in a way that they seem fit, regardless of the underlying data model. So guys, here is the ability to make modifications and updates to data models throughout the development and iteration. Without requiring complex migrations, this could be the major benefit of this architecture. Next, let's talk in terms of scalability. So guys, Firestore automatically handles scaling as user traffic increases, making it very scalable. Firestore automatically adjusts resources to maintain peak performance, high availability, and responsiveness regardless of whether an application encounters rapid demand spikes or slow expansion. This means that developers won't have to worry about scaling infrastructure themselves. Moving ahead, let's talk about the fourth offline support. Firestore created apps continue to operate normally even if user devices lose or temporarily lose internet connectivity. Any edits made by the user are saved locally before being uploaded to the cloud when the device is next connected to the internet. Users in the location with spotty or no internet services will appreciate this addition. Quite cool, right? Then in terms of querying capabilities, Firestore's querying capability are robust, enabling developers to get specific data via complicated queries. Firestore enhances query performance without requiring manual index management. By automatically creating and optimizing indexes for frequently used queries. Fascinating. Then in terms of security which is robust, Firestore incorporates Firebase authentication for the user to authenticate. Among the other security measures, this can be very unique. By establishing security rules, Developers can control who can have access to sensitive information and under what circumstances. So guys, this was about why to use the Firebase. Next, let's move ahead to how does it work. So guys, you should know that Firestore's data model is a document-based one. Data is stored in collections, which functions as folders and papers, which are contained within collections. Here, data is stored in collections, which function as folders and papers, also which are contained within collections. So guys, here a document's ID is a collection-wide identifier that no other document shares. Strings, numbers, arrays, maps, and other data types can all be stored in document fields. Secondly, Firestore's ability to sync in real-time is a key feature. So guys, any subscribed client receives real-time updates 
whenever data in Firestore is modified. So the use of the web sockets and long polling here, two of the examples are the most popular communication protocol that allow for the synchronization to take place. So the outcome is a streamlined collaborative experience as any changes made by one person are mirrored instantly for all other users. Then let's talk about information archiving. So guys, Firestore utilizes Google worldwide infrastructure of data centers to flexibly and securely store information. Global users will benefit from this low latency provided by this distribution. To ensure that the data is always accessible, it is often copied to different servers. So guys, because Firestores handle data sharing, replication and failover automatically, developers are freed from worrying about the infrastructure details. Next, Firestores scalability features include automatically scaling in response to fluctuating user traffic. It can handle resource allocation automatically so that developers don't have to worry about keeping up with escalating workloads. Since because of its scalability, apps can keep working normally despite sudden increase in user volume. Moreover, Firestore's querying capabilities are among its strongest features. So guys, the data that developer query can be limited, filtered and sorted in a number of different ways. Firestone will generate indexes for you automatically to help you speed up your queries. This indexing system eliminates the need for developers to manually design and manage indexes allowing for more efficient data retrieval. So guys, Firestone also integrates with the other services in the Firebase ecosystem including Firebase Authentication, Firebase Hosting and many more. Let's move ahead with the tools used in Firebase. So in order to help developers efficiently manage, monitor and interact with the Firestore database, it offers a number of tools and services. These utilities facilitate database design, troubleshooting and performance enhancement in a number of contexts. Let's talk about some of the most important resources for utilizing Firebase Firestore. Firstly, let's talk about Firebase Console. So guys, developers may manage their Firestore databases to track metrics, set up permissions, and do all other administrative operations through a Firebase Console, which is a web-based interface. You can see how your database is organized and can navigate between different types of data, including collections, documents, and fields. Firestore security rules may be created and tried out right in the admin panel. Next, let's talk about Firebase Emulator Suite. So guys, you may test and debug Firestore's operation locally before releasing them to production with the help of Firestore Emulator, which is a part of Firebase Emulator Suite. This can help developers in spotting problems and ensuring that the data operations and security rules function as intended. If you want to make sure that only authorized users can access to your data and that only authorized activities are permitted, you can use the security rules simulator found in the Firebase console to try out different situations, right? Moving on to Firebase official client libraries, these are available for wide varieties of language and platforms, including JavaScript, Android, iOS, and many more. These libraries make it much easier to include Firestore into the app as well as providing CRUD which are the create, read, update, and delete methods, which are the ways to interface with Firestore's real-time data synchronization. Lastly, let's talk about Firestore's RESTful APIs. So guys, in addition to client libraries, Firestore's provide a RESTful API that may be used to make HTTP calls to your database. When you're not using a supported platform or constructing a custom integration, this comes in handy. So guys, these were quite the basic fundamentals of Firebase Firestores. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, do hit the like button and to stay notified for further updates, click the bell icon. Like always, wish you happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!